So high pressure dominates. We'll continue to move eastward for the next week and a half here, and that will dominate our weather. We'll be hot and dry for the next week and a half. Uh, winds will be pretty dead throughout that time period. Only tomorrow will we see some breezes as a weak area of low pressure will affect us for tomorrow. Uh, in uh, Island Park, Yellowstone area, there will be a slight chance of some thunderstorms to occur for tomorrow afternoon, but that's a slight chance. Other than that, we're going to be hot and dry and sunny for the rest of the period. So currently right now, we don't have any cloud coverage. We don't have anything going on. So we're going to be sunny and dry and hotter than yesterday today. Six to 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. A fire weather watch will be issued for tomorrow by the National Weather Service for Saturday afternoon into the evening. This means wildfires can be triggered due to very low humidity around 10%, which is lower than average, and high winds, 25 sustained, which is continuous, a continuous wind speed, which is breezy, and gust up to 35. So if triggered, wildfires can spread rapidly in that area for tomorrow afternoon in the p.m. hours. Winds forecasted for today, not as strong as tomorrow. Tomorrow will be more breezier, but for today, sustained throughout the regions here, 8 to 14 miles per hour, continuous with gusts up to 23 miles per hour in certain, in certain regions. Today's high temperatures are, um, are warmer than yesterday, 6 to 10 degrees warmer. Uh, Pocatello, or th uh, yes, Pocatello, 86, Idaho Falls, 83, which is on average for this time of year. For the Southeast Highlands, temperatures will also be in the 80s, mostly in the lower half. 86 for Downey is the high. For the Central Mountains, we've got 80s as well. Stanley, 76. And then the higher elevations, Eastern Highlands, will be in the 70s, mostly in the mid-70s, 66 for Yellowstone. Tomorrow's high temperatures will be 3 to 7 degrees warmer than what we're expecting today. For tonight, mostly clear. Pocatello gets down to 54. Idaho Falls, 47. For, that's for the Snake River Plain. Southeast Highlands, temperatures in the 40s with Incom and Preston getting down to 52 and then up in the Central Mountains temperatures will mostly be in the 40s. Some will top into into 50 degrees and then Stanley at 38 degrees and then over in the Eastern Highlands cooler temperatures in the 40s with Yellowstone a low temperature of 36 degrees. Now here's your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast Pocatello today a high temperature of 86 which is on average for this time of year and then tomorrow we will now can now begin to become above average temperatures for the next week. We will have a weak area of low pressure move through um, north of us, and that will bring breezy conditions tomorrow, uh, especially high wind speeds for that fire weather watch in over towards Magic Valley, getting close to American Falls and south of Arco there. That's for tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Idaho Falls today has a high temperature of 83, and that high pressure that's off the coast moving into Oregon right now, it's going to continue to move east and as it moves further east by midweek next week it will be overhead on top of us and as it continues to move east it will then bring us some monsoonal moistures from some some moisture from the southwest for the weekend so we may see some triggering of some thunderstorms late late next week but low confidence this far out back to you Deanne. thank you